She don't need no man and all of that. that. That's not independency. Every woman needs a man. Every woman needs a man. All right, but um, in America, <laughs> we have this, this, this standard of independency that she's a single mother. She drops her baby off at the babysitter. She doesn't need no man. She works. The car, car is in her, her name. The house is in her name. She don't need no man. But yet and still, at the end of the day, every time she's in the conversation with her girlfriends, it's always about men. Girl, I need a man. <laughs> I want a man. <laughs> okay. So, yes, it does give her a level of independency as far as even if the Muslim woman works her money is her money. The Muslim man, her husband, is not allowed to take anything from her money without her permission. That is her money. As but the is, are these, I mean, what you're talking about here, is this across the board or is this just in for probably certain sects, sects of uh, the Muslim community? Regardless of which, which sect, as we know, sects do exist in Islam, but regardless of what sect, um, the, the, the resources of information in Islam is, is the Quran is the Quran and the prophetic practices of Prophet Muhammad. Those are the two main resources. Regardless of what sect um, is there or is, is out there, um, they should refer their affairs back to those two sources. However, they don't because the biggest enemy of any religion is always culture. Culture is always the biggest enemy of every religion because people s tend to um, contradict their religion through their cultural practices. Mm -hmm. Uh, you say, okay, I'm a Muslim. Well, it will but, influence. Uh, yes, of course, of course. I'm, I'm from Nigeria, or I'm from wherever. I'm not just singling out any country, but uh, I'm looking at countries that are predominantly ran through their culture and traditional practices. Mm -hmm. It conflicts with Islam because uh, they may practice a particular thing, and the religion says no. Uh, in some in some countries. Um, the, the woman, she does not have the right to choose who she wants to marry. The father chooses for her. And in Islam, this is wrong. The woman has every right to choose, especially a woman who has been married before. Um, she has more right to decide who she wants to marry. Okay. Okay. Well, we've got to take a break. Shadi, thank you for being here this morning. Uh, thank you for, for, I mean, I know we ran a little, a little bit late this morning, but thank you for taking the time to come out. Viewers, we've got our Rise and Shine morning news coming up, so stay tuned. And uh, we'll be back just after that. Join us. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alif Lam Mim. Tanzilul Kitab la Rayba fihi min Rabbil Alamin. أم يقولون افتراه بل هو الحق من ربك لتنذر قوما ما أتاهم من نذير من قبلك ما أتاهم من نذير من قبلك لعلهم يهتدون